Hey guys, Nick here with Tech War Duo. In this video, we're going to install Deluge on our Synology. In the last video, we installed Transmission, which is a different BitTorrent downloader, but this time we're going to install Deluge, which is my preference anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to head over to the Package Center, and we're going to click on the Community tab. If you, get, if you do not have this, go ahead and follow my other video. It shows you how to add a third-party repository, which is the Sino community, um, which has a great source of packages. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and click on Deluge. We're going to click Install. And so this may prompt you to install Python. Go ahead and let that install Python. Um, one thing that we want to do is make sure we get the Downloads folder created. So here we have the download directory, the watch directory, complete directory. We're not going to do the bottom two unless you want to. Of course, you can have those as well. I'm going to go ahead and make the download directory now. So I'm going to head over to the control panel, click on shared folder, and then just click create. And here, I'm going to type in downloads, click on next, next, and next all the way through and apply. Now that this folder is created, we're just going to leave the permissions as is, click on OK, close that window, and then we'll hit next. And right here it says the default password for the web interface is Deluge. We'll click Next. This talks more about permission management and the SC download, which is the group that it's going to create and apply to the downloads folder. So we'll double check to make sure the SC download group is applied to that download folder so that it has access to download to it. So we'll click Next and Apply. Okay, so this should install pretty quickly. So I do have a test download here as well. So I'm going to use the Ubuntu desktop version. It's just a BitTorrent link. I'm going to add it to the Deluge client and we're going to install it or download it to our NAS. So while this is installing, let's go ahead and check that permission folder. So we'll go to file station. Nope, sorry, we're going to go over to control panel, head to the shared folder, click on downloads, um, and then we can just click edit. And from here, we can click on Permissions, click down on Groups, and SC Download already popped up as a custom, um, so that that most likely means that it's going to have a read-write access to it. It's a custom access there. Click on OK, close that, and now we got Deluge running. So now you'll notice at the bottom, the URL pops up. It shows you your IP address of the NAS, um, and then the port, 8112. We're going to go ahead and click on that. The password, like I mentioned before, Deluge. Do you want to change the password? I recommend you guys change it, but for this, I'm not going to. We're going to click on this right here, this host, and click Connect. So now we're connected to our Deluge instance. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. We're going to add this torrent here. I'm just going to right-click, copy link address. Paste the URL, add, add. And let's see if it starts downloading. And there it goes. And it's downloading pretty quick. All right, already hit 1.7 megabytes. And it continues to rise. All right, so we have that downloaded. Let's just double check, make sure the file is appearing. Come back here, go to downloads. And there it is, Ubuntu, right there, perfect. Now we got Deluge running. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and enjoy your day.